Hey, hey um, I wanted to make a little video today about a new old hobby and that new old hobby is yo-yo. Uh, when I was really young I remember the first yo-yo that I got and that first yo-yo I got it when I was maybe eight or nine years old it was a black Duncan butterfly yo-yo with Batman and Robin on the side caps and I threw that thing until the string burned off of the axle and uh, I come I came from a really small town and for some reason or another they never sold extra yo-yo string and so I would have to buy another yo-yo and put that string on my favorite yo-yo until that string burned off so um, and, and, I, and when I did it it was really basic I mean you know just looping tricks and around the world and whatnot um, but the real story that I wanted to tell you today is, um, is about a guy named Tommy Smothers. I, um, I moved from this little town in Nebraska to Las Vegas, Nevada to live with my dad and my stepmom. And my stepmom was a casting agent and she worked in, um, you know, in film. She, she casted for commercials, the talent for commercials or movies or extras or wh whatever, you know, the people walking around in the background and, and just working in that industry. And so I got to go with them every once in a while to do a shoot. And this one weekend I went to um, this house where they were shooting a commercial and Tommy Smothers was the talent. It was like a Cheetos commercial or something. And, um, and so I was just standing there with my, with my dad and um, my stepmom and Tommy Smothers walks in and uh, he asks me if I know how to yo-yo. I mean, just like straight in out of the door. He's like, do you know how to yo-yo? And I said, yeah. And he said, do you like the yo-yo? And I said, I love yo-yo. And I didn't know at the time because I was, I was 11. I didn't know. But Tommy Smothers was... Um, part of this brother team called the Smothers Brothers. Now, any, any of the old school people watching this know what I'm talking about. If you're young, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but since we have the magic of the internet, you can YouTube and watch Tommy. I'm sure he's called, he has a character called the Yo-Yo Man, and um, I, I think he still does it every once in a while. I think he still yo-yos. He's like in his 70s or whatever. Um, and so, um, so he was part of this, you know, the Smothers Brothers were like, they were huge in like the 70s and all that kind of stuff. They, they had their own show. And so anyway, Tommy walks in, asks me if I a uh, yo-yo. I say yes. He has somebody go grab his yo-yo out of the car and starts like throwing down all these tricks for me. Like a private show, me and him. He's just like showing me all these tricks and most of which I'd never... I didn't even, I knew of them, I didn't know how to do them, I'd never seen them before or whatever, but he did, you know, all the usual suspects. He did walk the dog, baby in the cradle, he pulled the Eiffel Tower, he even pulled like a, a, a trapeze, which I had never seen before, and he pulled the trapeze off with the, like a little classic shaped wooden yo-yo. And, um, and so he says to me, hey, do you want to throw this yo-yo while I go shoot the commercial in the other room? Um, yeah, so he goes to the other side of the house, and I and I just start throwing this yo-yo and trying to figure out the tricks that he was showing me, and uh, and then he would come back intermittently and kind of show, oh no no you need to you know put your hand like this for baby in the cradle and then you shoot it out so it'll come back into your hand and all this stuff. It was an amazing experience in retrospect. I mean it's it, it's awesome that that he took the time to do that with me and share his love of the yo-yo and show me tricks and stuff. So, so thank you Tommy Smothers for doing that for, uh, for one kid, for this kid at a commercial shoot. So um, I just think that's amazing and awesome that he did that. So, um, so I kept on throwing it the whole day. I mean, the co commercials take forever to shoot. So, I mean, I literally threw that for hours. And um, so he comes back at the end of the day he pulls, he, he, he pulls a box out, he puts a bunch of string in the box, he puts an extra wooden axle, because it's a fixed axle, puts an extra axle in there, puts the yo-yo in there, gives me the box and says, it's yours to keep, have fun with it, and keep on yo-yoing. And I'm 11 years old going, oh, 
you know, this, it was just awesome, you know, because I, I had already, I had already lost my Duncan by that point in time, and then he gives me the sweet wooden yo-yo. I lost the Duncan, but I did not lose the wooden yo-yo that Tommy gave me. And so this is it. This is, um, it's a Tom Coon yo-yo. And anybody who knows anything about the, you know, the evolution of the yo-yo knows that Tom Coon was pretty <laughs> essential in its whole evolution. And I'm pretty sure, unless somebody leaves me a comment otherwise, I'm pretty sure Tom Coon was the guy, the first guy to put a bearing in a yo-yo. So, um, this is a really special yo-yo to me. I will always keep it in my bag. I will always have it. Um, I, I've started to kind of collect, you know, do some yo-yos now, and I'm throwing, you know, I've learned about non-responsive when I saw a Jensen Kimmett video, uh, you know, the 2010 ch champion video that he was throwing, uh, and just floored at what was going on. So I YouTubed and, and now I'm kind of caught up with what's going on with yo-yoing yo and I can't believe I went this whole entire time without knowing. And still throwing this for, I, I mean, I throw this this yo-yo for, for my kids, showing them tricks that I know, other kids, because I work, you know, I work with kids a lot in music and I just, I, I've always used this and now I, it's, you know, a whole new thing has been opened up to me for my new hobby, which is yo-yo. So my new old yo-yo hobby. But one thing that I did want to show you with this, so I'll, I'll kind of show you this yo-yo. It's called a Tom Coon No Jive 3-in-1 Yo-Yo. It's classic shape. Um, but you can take the sucker apart and you can turn it into a butterfly or you can uh, turn it into a camelback, which I'm not sure why you would use that. I don't know anything about camelback. But um, maybe somebody does, um, but I don't. Uh, this maple yo-yo, uh, given to me by Tommy, uh, I, I want to show you one trick that he showed me that I've never really seen anywhere else, and it's a really simple trick, and it's the one trick that every time I show any kid this trick, they want to see it over and over again. So this trick is called man-eating spaghetti. And so, thanks Tommy. Here's the trick. Let me move this back so you can see. Here we go. Man eating spaghetti. Man eating spaghetti. Thanks Tommy.